Hello again, this is SF Transfab Mike coming to you today with another, uh, well, really, it's more of a NASAverse discussion. Um, and I could actually call this NASAverse discussion because I'm going to talk about Garden of Sinners or Kara no something or other. Um, I see it commonly abbreviated as KNK. Uh, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. But anyway, guys, as you see, topic number one Heaven's Feel. Okay. So I did like an initial review, and I've been talking about it nonstop in my lunchtime dailies, and anybody that'll talk to me about it, I want to talk to about, want to talk to about it. Well, I do have the criticism of I think they needed to have a little more exposition in here, um, whereas I think the animes were from Affordable, the Unlimited Blade Works was a little heavy on the exposition. This was a little light. I know they're trying to make it as like. Uh, how do you put it? I know they're trying to say like this is a continuation or a sequel or, you know, hey, you know, you're supposed to have known about Unlimited Blade Works before coming in, but it's kind of awkward when this is, when this is the first time you've ever been exposed to the Fate series, and it is the start of a story. You don't give the exposition. That is my only complaint about this. I understand that for most of us, this is a second, this is at the very least the second time we've gone through a Fate Stay Night um, story. So we don't need as much introduction to the world. But the thing is with uh, Heaven's Feel, the actual route in the visual novel, I have a feeling you gotta go through all that stuff. So you still get the exposition. So even if all you get to see is Heaven's Feel, you get the whole picture. So that's kind of missing here, but let me be honest. I harped about it during the initial reaction video. I've touched on it in a few of the lunchtime videos. I'm not here to harp about that. That movie was bomb. I saw, uh, I mean, I, I mentioned that as a detraction and I would still give it a 10 out of 10 after two viewings. So take, take that what you would. Um, because despite that being a legit thing, it doesn't take away from any of my enjoyment of it. This is why I'm not, so I say I'm not a critic. I don't care that that critically could be something you can knock this movie for. I don't care. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I saw it, like I said, I saw it for the second time on Thursday. I managed to get out like 525 or something like that. Um, right at, you know, the cutoff time where I'd be able to make it comfortably to, uh, the showing. In fact, I actually managed to slip past all the traffic somehow and was able to even go to my house and had some time to, you know, take care of business, so to speak, uh, before I went to the movie, which was great. Um, cause I really didn't want to go in what I was wearing to work. <laughs> but anyway, again, I love the movie. Um, like I think I said in one of the lunchtime dates, I didn't really get, because I was tired, I didn't really notice as much different than I did the first time. Um, I know, I want to say, well, you know who you are. You mentioned that, hey, you know, you watch their body postures and whatnot. I was trying to pay attention to it, but I just, my concentration slipped and I apologize. But really good movie. I definitely plan to buy the English release of this. If I have a couple of good checks uh, coming up, I will buy the Japanese DVD and just go over it there. Because I honestly, I want to... Um, Fate Stay Night is one of those animes where dub or sub doesn't make a difference for me. Um, uh, Dragon Ball Z was one of those where dubbed or subbed. I could go oh, either way. Dragon Ball Super, I prefer actually subbed because I prefer the Weiss and the Beerus, who get a lot of screen time. I'm just, I guess maybe because I went through all 131 in Japanese, I'm so used to those. The English voice actors for those just don't do it for me. But uh, anyway, guys, I love the movie. Highly recommend, uh, highly recommended. Like I said, for me, this is a 10 out of 10. This is not a critical thing. This is for me. My enjoyment was definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, and I am, as you guys could tell from, I keep talking about it. I highly recommend it. I'm, ve I'm was very hyped for it. I'm still hyped. On to the second thing, guys. Um, 
fake grand order. Yay, my phone's working with me. Okay, so just, you know, a few things to mention. Um, hopefully I'll get the my Friday lunchtime video out tomorrow morning, Monday morning. Um, I'm recording this on a Sunday night. And there I kind of uh, talk about something that happened to me Thursday night, which was kind of awesome. If you've seen that video, you know what it is. Um, if you haven't, this is a bit of a spoiler, or if this gets out, uh, I totally was just in the house and I forgot to check how my uh, exporting process was go going. Um, sometimes it actually crashed on me this morning on the video I put up today. Uh, so this, the program I have, I've updated it. Once I updated it last time, it got very wonky on me where I would go to export, you know, mess around with editing for 15, 20 minutes and then lose all progress once I go to export. As you guys know, I don't do a whole lot of editing yet. I know how to do it. I've taught myself how to do it. I just got to actually do it now. Yeah. One of, I'm at one of those spots. But anyway, on to Fate Grand Order. I managed to pull all John Dark on Thursday night on some of those, uh, you know, the pull tickets. I was actually going for just random stuff. I was like, yeah, let's see what I got. Did my first three tickets, figured I'd do three, keep three. Um, I got the Shiro projection thing and then I pulled her and I'm having so much fun in, in Fate Grand Order. Um, this game has just been so much fun to get back into. Um, it's actually rewarded, rewarding me, but I'm not expect well, I'm not expecting it. Um, and I'm okay with that. Um, I got two five stars last time. I only got one. It's all good. But the one thing I'm going to say about fake Round order is again, I, I was just playing this morning. Um, I've kind of made the conscious decision where I'm not going to really work with this event they got going right now. I just haven't leveled high enough to have enough uh, AP or whatever they call it, the energy. I think I have like 75 or 76 max right now. Um, so it's really hard to run these 40 stamina events or energy or whatever you want to call it um, to be able to participate in this event. And it's no longer giving me enough XP where I'm pretty much auto leveling. Um, I've stalled in the 50s or so. Um, I've decided to kind of go back to story and I'm going to do the 340 AP event. Uh, not, they're not events. What are they called? Um, the Chaldea Gate. Daily whatevers, you know, uh, where you get the XP items, you get the Ascension items, and you get the money. I'm going to be doing those primarily for... The mana prisms because i'm noticing they have for a thousand mana prisms they have these five star uh craft essences that look pretty decent um so i want to save up enough for that right now i'm at like a hundred or something like that something like ridiculously low and i'm okay with that for now um, i'm just gonna slowly build them up um, 12 a day plus whatever else I can find till I start getting enough energy where I can comfortably run those. I don't know if that ever happens really in Fate Grand Order. I didn't get far enough last time. Um, so my plan now is to run those events uh, once a day, regen the you know energy, and primarily focus on story for now. Um, one of the you could call her like the best value unit in the game is obviously Mash who is actually absent there. Now that I think about it, I chose a Fate Grand Order picture without Mashu. Go figure. <laughs> Honestly, it was the one that looked nice enough that had the logo and everything on it, that had some popular servants on it. I totally, that actually loaded on my phone. I'm out in my car right now. So the uh, Wi-Fi isn't quite, doesn't quite make it out here very well uh, this time of day. But anyway, um, I want to be able to level her up and strengthen her because she's a zero cost uh, unit and it's always nice to have her built up. Um, and on to the story, which I think I told the last time I was here. I'm in Orleans. I'm heading to the final stretch of France or 
however you want to put it. Um, and again, I'm very much moved by the story there. One of the servants uh, gets killed. One of the servants, you know, you've been using, interacting with and whatnot, ends up getting killed. Um, and again, it, it wasn't as moving as the first time because I realized that now I kind of realize how the Throne of Heroes works and that I think some of the servants that we have summoned now actually are in the story later. Um, so we get to see them later anyway. So it's not as much of an emotional impact, but it's still, they went there, they took out one of the servants you've been using and bonding with. Um, and I, I love the speech she gave. Um, it was awesome. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with Fate Grand Order. I'm having a blast this time around because I'm not paying attention to the gotcha. Um, the one thing I will note is that I can't count on the friend point summons. That is to say, um, that was kind of like my plan going in. To use the friend point summons to get the one, two, and three star units that are usable um, but the ones that I actually want that are generally three stars. I want Ku, I want Medea, I want Medusa. I remember getting a bunch of Medusas. This time around, I've gotten none. I did manage to pull a Medea, but that was off that first uh, freebie one you do at the beginning of the game. That has the uh, guaranteed four star on it. Ah, excuse me, guys. Um, yeah, so I've learned that I can't uh, rely on it. As you know, if you've been playing the game, uh, they recently gave out like 20,000, I think, friend points. I was like, yeah, I get to do a whole bunch of uh, multi summons. Actually, it might have been 30,000 because I want to say I did 15 multis on there. So it might have been 30,000. Uh, free friend points and I was like yeah that's awesome I got one three star servant one and I did that's not including the two dailies which I actually got to do mine when I go back inside and get this editing or exporting or whatever actually you know what on this one I'm not going to do any music in the background but I'm going to put some pictures on the sides of these because I made a mistake. I'm holding this vertically. <laughs> I just thought about that, guys. Um, if I'm holding this vertically, that means you're going to have two black bars on the outside. Oh, fail. Such a fail. Oh, especially after the one on Friday. As Again, if you guys see it or you don't see it. I uh, was so excited about talking about John Dark. I made like three or four major gas that cost me to lose an event uh the event uh fight i was doing and i was like oh feels bad but anyway i, I kind of get random on these don't i anyway guys so yeah i can't rely on front point summons like i was hoping i would I, at best i got two uh three-star servants out of those like 17 or 18 multis I did uh, within a span of 24 hours. That's just not a good rate to be able to get the stuff that I want. Maybe I just had a really bad uh, string of luck. Um, I probably should have done a single or something on one of the banners just to reset my luck and I didn't even think about that. But at the same time then I get some three star thing I don't want and I'm annoyed that I spent three uh, star quartz on it when I'm trying to you know have 150, 200, 300 star quartz by the time I get to a banner I really want to pull on um, so yeah that's where I'm at with Fate Grand Order loving it I'm just going to get back to story to build up Mashu and uh, I don't know guys it, am I taking the right approach with that those if I don't know how long at this point, I've been talking for 15 minutes, which is three times my screen has dimmed. I don't know if you see the dimming or not on uh, my screen or if that's just a factory setting that I can't find or don't think to find. Anyway, but am I, am I barking up the right tree? You know, get 
get what mana prisms I can a day off of the uh, out of the Chaldea Gate, and then work on story mode until I get to a decent level and uh, and work on Mash because she's a great value unit because she costs nothing. I don't know. Uh, am I barking up the right tree? Should I concentrate more on just pure leveling out of uh, uh, the Chaldea Gate? Because you get for 40 uh, energy or stamina or whatever you want to call it, you get like 15,000 XP. But then again, maybe if I actually manage to get past this thing in the event, I get for 40 X for 40 stamina, I'll get even more than 15,000. Because right now that's what the current um, the fire mountain or whatever is giving me for 40 energy I'm getting about 15,000 XP but anyway am I barking up the right tree am I not and last but not least guys the garden of sinners all right I am I was gonna say six six to seven movies into this and I am loving Shiki so far um I went just with how they had them numbered uh, so far. Eventually, I'm going to go do a watch through where I watch it chronologically. You know, say, oh, hey, that happens the furthest back, you know, in 1995. Watch all the 95 ones, then watch all the 98s, etc., so on and so forth. You get the idea. That way, I see what happened chronologically. Right now, I'm enjoying how they're telling the story because up till the last episode I watch or movie I watched of it they had left kind of what happened on that night a long time ago blank um on one of the movies or whatever you know Shiki was about ready to kill her friend I want to say it's Makaya Kokoto anyway I'll just call him Ko for now guys <laughs> you know me in pronunciations it's not good um you know, she's about to kill her friend Ko you know and it cuts there, and then we see two years later she's been in a coma, and we don't see what happened. Was it that she was going to murder him? What what happened? And it just barely now kind of filled us in on what actually happened. Um, so that'll definitely be something fun to watch in order now, but I like the fact that it left me questioning what, what happened, you know? Um, so far it's been pretty cool. Shiki is awesome. I love her personality. Um, again, she's kind of she kind of fits the trope, although not very well, of the broken cutie, so to speak. Um, in that, you know, traumatic childhood leads to whatever. Hers wasn't as so far as I can tell. Hers wasn't as bad as like Ilya's or Laura slash X twenty three or anything like that. But I don't think hers was very stable. Um, she definitely had those problems with the whole murderous intent from the male Shiki, which apparently killed itself or something. That part is still sketchy. I'll figure that out eventually. Uh, I really love her powers. I love the storyline, the wo weaving in of all the different characters. Um, I really like the fake out with, um, oh dear me, the, the, uh, Scarlet Disgrace totally forget her name hopefully she never heard me calling her that because that was not a good response when she heard someone call her that um why can i not think of her name right now i'm gonna finish this up in another few minutes i'm at about 20 minutes in another few minutes and be like that's her name oh it feels bad anyway the magus that helps shiki that runs the business that pays shiki and uh co uh for doing what they do I'm loving the side characters, even uh, Ko's little sister. I want to say her name's Azaka or something like that, but anyway, they share the last name. Ko and Ko. We'll just leave it at that. Um, it's been cool. I love the visuals. Love the world building there. From what I can... T uh, obviously from... Uh, oh, okay, I'll just say the last thing here, guys. The thing that I really think I like the most about this series is actually the openings to all the movies. The first few started out kind of, I won't say serious, but uh, they started out like they're actual PSAs or whatever, you know, turn off your cell phone. And you know, the one guy that doesn't do it, Shiki Wenzo walks over and you know, cuts up the phone or whatever. 
Actually, I think the guy got cut in half too, but that's a whole nother story. But then they just get funny. Like, uh, I think the last one I re remember seeing is the one where uh, Ko's little sister starts, you know, playing with her fire magic. And, uh, yeah, anyway. I want to say that one also happened, and that's also the one uh, where I'm thinking, where you know this is the same author, but you're getting the idea where this is definitely all connected within the fate, with fate and whatnot. And that, you know, it did the pullout, and then all of a sudden there were all the Fate series figurines sitting in the stands for the movie. I about lost it laughing. That was amazing. Little pullback. And like, oh my gosh, there's Rin. There's Shiro. There's, 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 there's. And I had a lot of fun with that. Um, ah. Sorry, I have uh, this set to turn off, to stop recording when the screen turns off, so... Anyway, yeah, I'm really loving diving into this. I will have more of a thoughts slash review or whatever on it on its own once I finally get done with all. I think there's ten of them, and may and maybe I'll yeah I'll do it then, and then I'll probably do another review once I go back through it chronologically, and just see what I noticed that way. See if it's more, uh, you know, st more stuff I get to pick up on. Anyway, guys, that's the video for now. Um. Thank you guys so much for coming through and commenting and sticking with me on it, coming with me on this journey through the Nasu verse. It's really awesome right now. We're actually seeing action in the Nasu verse. Um, obviously, we just had uh, Heaven's Feel come out in the theaters. That was amazing, and that's kind of got me back into the groove of you know the fates. There was just like a drought after Apocrypha came out on Netflix. Um, I'm from what I've heard in the movie theater from you know various people I talked to the uh, last encore is coming out on the 29th so I'm stoked for that I think it's like the first he said it was like the first seven episodes and I understand they messed up uh, from what I've heard from you guys and others they kind of messed it up in terms of um, translating it or adapting it from the source material but I, I'm still interested it's fate it's got a whole bunch of people I even know. I know Rin's in there, and there's a few other archers in there, et cetera, so on and so forth. So I'm interested in seeing it. Um, next time I have some money, again, next big thing I want to get is the Heaven's Field DVD. But I think next payday, I'm going to try to get the PSP game Fate Extra. Uh, that was released here. I'm going to try to find a way to clean off that screen, play through it, see how I like it. Um, and obviously I'll share here on the channel. I have no way of getting gameplay or gameplay from that, which is unfortunate. Um, from what I can tell, they haven't done like what uh, Square Enix has done and release it for, you know, Android and iOS and whatnot, which would be utterly amazing. That way I can just play it on my phone, which has got a bigger screen <laughs> and easier controls and all that stuff. Looks better, too. <laughs> the poor PSP. It's like 10 years old now or more. I forget how long ago the PSP came out. Um, but that poor thing is just so small. I want to say my phone is actually currently physically bigger than the PSP I have. Um, if not, it's very close. It's kind of scary when you think about it. Um, anyway, guys, I thank you so much for, again, for following me on this journey. Um, appreciate all the comments, likes, subscribes, and all that stuff that you guys have given me over the time. Um, and I just, again, I thank you for coming on it, and I hope you continue on with me. All right, guys, I will see you guys next time. Bye.